In this session, we are going to learn about AWS Code Deploy. We are going to learn AWS Code Deploy to a level that is just enough to execute the labs. So what is AWS Code Deploy? AWS Code Deploy is an agent-based deployment mechanism that you can use to deploy your software to AWS environment as well as to your on-premise environment or to other cloud service providers. So imagine that you have a few EC2 instances and an on-premise machine here I have represented with my laptop that you want to deploy a software. So this laptop can be a your actual laptop, it could be an on-premise instance or it could be an instance in another cloud service provider. And you install an agent in these machines and with the help of AWS Core Deploy, you create something called a deployment group. So here I have created a deployment group called pre-product. So how these machines are categorized into this pre-production environment is using some tags. So if it is an EC2 instance, you add a tag that identifies these machines that belongs into pre-production. If it is an uh, uh, on-premise instance or an instance in another cloud service provider, you register this instance uh, on AWS uh, called deploy and then tag them as belonging into pre-production environment. You can have multiple environments, of course. Uh, it could be test environment, production environment. So once you have this uh, environment configured, you say you put this uh, software into an S3 bucket and then call API uh, endpoints of AWS Core Deploy and then say, hey, AWS Core Deploy, my software is in this S3 bucket. Take that software and then deploy into uh, the machines. And the agent will communicate with the S3 bucket, download the software to the local machine and then deploy it. You can do uh, one at a time deployment. You can do rolling deployment if you like. So the way that you want to roll out your software during the deployment cycle uh, is configurable. So how it works behind the scene is uh, with the ap application itself, you package a file called app spec and that app spec file defines uh, where's the source file and where the destination of this file should be. So you can specify multiple files. It could be a zip file, it could be individual files as I have given here. And once you copy these files, you can execute certain scripts. So for example, you can program what happens before the installation happens. Maybe you want to stop some services. What happens after the installation happens? So you can execute any arbitrary script. It could be a PowerShell script as I have given here. Alternatively, it could be a command line uh, or batch files that you want to execute as part of this deployment. There are multiple events that you can program for. Uh, for example, you have events like application start or validate service uh, that you can program and then customize. If you can copy a file to a destination and then execute scripts at different stages of deployment, sky is the limit for deployments. You can do MSI deployment, you can do IIS deployment, you can do uh, PowerShell deployment or SSIS package deployment. So you can do any arbitrary deployment with the help of AWS Core Deploy. So in the next lab, let's see how we can do such a deployment.